everyone. If you are new, my name is Marin. Welcome to another reading vlog. So this reading vlog is going to track my reading progress for the Bout of Books readathon, which is a readathon that is hosted mostly on Twitter and on their like blog site. It's been around for a very long time. I believe this is Bout of Books 36. So it happens like two times a year. So it's been around for a while and I've been participating probably since almost the start. I've missed a few here and there just because it doesn't occur at great times during the school year. But yeah, so I wanted to go ahead and just talk about the books that I'm going to be working on for the readathon. So one of them is out in the living room and I'm too lazy to go get it. So I'll put the cover right here. And that is Invincible by John Metcalf. It is the fourth book in her Twixt series. And then I also started listening to Again Again by E. Lockhart on audio. I am, I believe, on chapter four. This one is very interesting. So this one is basically taking the theory of like the multiverse and applying it to this story. So we have these times when I believe we're like hearing from actual Adelaide, but she basically, um, she repeats like parts of her day conversations with people and things like that. So I'm going to show you a part. I was listening to it. So this is interesting. Okay, so basically, we have things like this. And you can tell with the change of the text, I'm going to try to get close. So like here is one scenario that could have happened. But then here's like another scenario that could have happened. And it flips through like that. So you have the story moving along and then there's parts of it that repeat in different ways because it's supposed to be, I believe, showing that like things happen differently in different universes, but it's very interesting. It's kind of difficult to follow on audio, although I'm not sure looking at the text now that that would necessarily help. But um, yeah, so I just got to the start of chapter four. I was on, let's see, on page 58. So I'm probably going to just finish reading this chapter just to like give it a clear cut start. It's only like three pages. So I'll probably go ahead and just read that so that I will be on chapter five tomorrow. But this is not a very long book. And because parts of it repeat and are in almost like a prose format, um, it's going to go pretty quick. The audiobook is only like eight hours long and that's on normal speed. So anyway, yes, Invincible is the first book. Again, again is the second book. And I'm thinking I might go ahead and put Brazen, this is Rebel Ladies Who Rock the World, on this TBR as well. So that's what we're going to be doing in this vlog. It is 6.08. I'm hungry, so I'm going to have some dinner. I'm going to do a little bit of reading on Invincible, and I'm going to try not to fall asleep until it's actually time to go to bed, because I am tired y'all today was our first day back from winter break and it was very hard to get back into the groove so that's what we've got going on also this is my new fur baby's cage he is sleeping so he is not awake but um i'll show you that's his new home so he is underneath of this platform right here that's where his burrow is um, and he does not come out until like 10 o'clock at night. He is definitely a, a heavy sleeper. So we'll see if that changes as he gets a little bit older. But anyway, that is his home. And hopefully I'll be able to get some footage of him to share in this vlog for those of you who like to see little tiny hamsters. So anyway, yes, gonna go eat dinner. 
chill out, relax, and hopefully get some reading done. So I will come back on before I go to bed to let you know what I did manage to read. And we'll do like a page count at the end of the day. About the bad lighting. I am about ready to crawl into bed here in just a few minutes, but I wanted to go ahead and recap today's reading. So I read 65 pages of Again Again by E. Lockhart, and I managed only 11 pages of Invincible. I was falling asleep while I was reading this one, so I had to stop reading and go do something else. So not bad overall. I am enjoying again again. This one was probably the one that I wasn't this sh mm, as sure about because I've really liked one of her books, really disliked another one of her books, but so far I am enjoying this. So we'll see where that goes. So that brings me to a total of 76 pages read today, mm -hmm. which is pretty good for day one of Bout of Books. I will hopefully be able to make more of a dent in this tomorrow. I'm just tired. <laughs> so I'm going to head to bed and I will come back on tomorrow with any reading that I get done. <music> Chapter 5. The Precarious Nature of New Love. Hello everyone, it is almost 11, so I'm heading to bed here in a couple of minutes, but I wanted to go ahead and do a reading update. So the only thing I did today was listen to more of Again Again, and I'm now on page 128. So that means I listened or read 62 pages today, which is pretty good. I wanted to do a bit more in Invincible, but y'all tired tired. <laughs> so no physical reading today. I just was too tired to do it. So we'll see how it goes tomorrow. I didn't get any footage for you tonight either. Like I said, just tired. So hopefully tomorrow will be better. I will check in with you then. Hello, I have not checked in in a few days, but I did want to get on and just mention that I finished listening to again again this morning and I really really enjoyed this one. I'm giving this one four stars. It was sweet, kind of bittersweet, heartbreaking in places, just I thought very well written. It really explores how grief can kind of impact your subsequent relationships and stuff. So in this book, Adelaide, who is our narrator, her brother Toby is a drug addict. And while she doesn't fit, realize what's going on initially, much of how she behaves is a result of her brother's addiction. And basically, this tells the story of one summer when Adelaide meets a guy named Jack and kind of what happens after that point. Um, I really, really liked the depiction of kind of the way Adelaide 
was dealing with the things that had happened to her and kind of just the way everything came together. Hey, you can see my baby right there. Do you see him? <laughs> he must have come out when he heard my voice. Anyway, so really, really enjoyed this one. This has very low ratings on Goodreads. It's a 3.19, but if this sounds at all like something you think you would enjoy, I say check it out because I really liked it. A lot of people whose opinions I also typically agree with also really liked it. So don't let the rating scare you away on this one. This one was a winner for me. And this is book two of 2022. Now, I have not done any reading on Invincible, y'all. It is still sitting at the same page that it was sitting on on Monday. So, yeah, that's going to be my goal for the weekend is to finish that book. He's running around. Um, yeah, so I'm going to try to finish that book on over the weekend, rather, I'm also going to start listening to the audio of Stars Above, which is a um, compilation of various novellas in the Lunar Chronicles series. And hopefully <laughs> the weekend will allow me to get a little bit more footage. It's just very hard to film during the week. So I apologize that the beginning part of this vlog has been all over the place. But on that note, now that he's made his... Um, first formal live YouTube appearance. I'm going to head to bed. Tomorrow it is supposed to be brutally cold, like five degrees <laughs> without the wind. So it's going to be interesting. And at least after tomorrow, it will be the weekend because I am ready. This has been a very long, very challenging week coming off winter break. So I'm going to sign off and I will see you tomorrow. everyone. I know it's been kind of a few days since I actually sat down and talked to you all. Yesterday, Saturday, I was working on Invincible by Don Metcalf, and I'm calling this one finished. I got to about page 150, and I just found myself kind of uninterested, but I still wanted to like finish the book. So I wound up doing some skimming, reading portions of it, and then I got to the last 100 pages or so, and I read through to the end. This book, I don't know if it was a case of me being the problem or the book being the problem, but I really liked the first three books in this series. I felt like they were very fast paced and they kept me engaged. This one just did not do that. I think part of it might be because the uh, romantic pairing in this book, they were separate for a vast majority of the first part of this book and I wasn't really enjoying that. Um, part of what drew me to this was that romance. So not having that kind of just really didn't work for me. That being said, I'm giving this three stars. I truly think that this might be a case of me being the problem rather than the story being the problem, but whatever. I've had this book literally since like early November and I just kept putting it off, putting it off. And so I realized that I just needed to get it done and it is done to the best of my ability. So checking this one off, this makes my third book for 2022. And I am very glad to be able to turn this one back into the library. 
I also started listening to the audio of Stars Above. So this is a collection of novellas that are set in the Lunar Chronicle series. And I am currently on page 121. I did skip one of the stories as I had already read it. And um, if you watched my January TBR, which I will link up above, I had said that I was going to read the little novella called The Little Android, but that is in this series. So I'm just going to read the whole rest of this thing, and this will check off the Lunar Chronicles from my series list. So I enjoyed the first two stories that I read in here. One of them was from Scarlett's grandmother's point of view. So I really liked that one. And then the second one was from Young Cinder's point of view. So yeah, enjoying this, that this will most likely be book number five of the year because my goal today is to read another book. And that other book is this graphic novel, which is called Brazen Rebel Ladies Who Rocked the World. So I don't know that I'll be able to get through the whole thing. There is quite a bit of text, but I would at least like to make a dent today and finish that this week. I definitely think that's doable. I can probably have this done in a few days. Um, but yeah, I'm really looking forward to reading this. This is my pick for the Buzz word -a -thon reading challenge because the challenge is the five W's and how. And this has the word who right there. So that's what we're going with. I am excited to read this one and see what I think. But this will probably be book four of the year and then stars above book five. I am doing really well on my... January TBR. So I'm very pleased with the progress I am able to make. I have finished one book off that TBR. I am midway through a the second one and then that graphic novel is a third one. So doing well considering that it is only January 9th. Now let's talk about some other things that I was up to yesterday. Yesterday I just was not feeling being on camera so I just did not do any actual filming but I did do some things, so I'll show you what those are. So first of all, I ordered a new Kindle because my previous one was, it was so slow. It was, oh gosh, I think I bought it in like 2011 or 2012. So it's quite old, it just was not reacting. I would push things, it would get stuck, I'd have to shut it off, turn it back on. So I went ahead and ordered the most recent Kindle Paperwhite, which is the, Kindle that I prefer. So I set this up yesterday, got everything downloaded onto it. So I ordered a case. It will be here tomorrow, but I am very excited to have a new Kindle because the other one was really a pain in the rear end. Another thing that I decided I am going to do in terms of book buying. So last year I didn't really buy books until like the very end of the year because I'd kind of put myself on like a book buying ban, if you will. This year I think I'm going to do a bingo board. This is not a new idea. Lots of people do this. But so yesterday I did create a bingo board that looks like this and I put some books on the board. Now when I get a bingo I will be able to buy one book. When I fill the whole board up I will be able to buy more than that but I haven't quite decided. I'm thinking maybe five five books if I really want to or I can just call it a book shopping spree where I can go to like a bookstore or an online bookstore and spend up to a certain amount of money um, but that's what we're gonna do so on this bingo board I have some of my 22 books to read in 2022 I have some of my series books to finish in 2022 and then I added several books that I've purchased recently so they are new to me books and yeah that's kind of what I've done and I'm excited to see how I do with this. I also just kind of like tracking things and this will kind of keep me accountable to make sure I'm reading the books that I'm purchasing in a timely fashion because I am typically very bad about that. So we're gonna try a little bit better. 
a little bit harder to do better rather uh, in that for 2022. So this is how we're going to start off and I will kind of keep you up to date on how I'm doing with this in subsequent vlogs. So stay tuned for that. The other thing that I did yesterday is I did a bunch of prepping for school. So I'm not going to show you everything because there is a huge stack of stuff. But basically, I made some new labels for things for my writing center and then my centers in general. That's what these turn-in bins are for. I also printed off this alphabet thing. This is from Secret Stories, if you are a teacher. Basically, instead of just teaching the kids the letters, it also includes the sound. So I'm going to kind of set that up to display. We listen to the secret. It's called the Better Alphabet Song. We listen to that every day, pretty much. So these are the letters that go along with that. And then I printed a bunch of stuff off for centers. So we have like some vocabulary sets and things that I'm going to need to laminate and all of that just to kind of give the kids a little bit more writing practice. And I also printed off several word work type centers. So that's what I was working on um, that I didn't film. <laughs> um, I am taking this all to school to have them laminate it at school. I do need to laminate my students' new name tags though because I am changing their seats tomorrow and at the start of the new year I add their last names onto their name tags so that they can learn how to write not just their first name but also their last name. So that's that. Now what you saw before I got on here and started talking, you know, forever ago. I did stop at Ulta this morning. I picked up this Peach and Lily Vitamin C um, Spot Treatment. So what is it called? Transparency Pro Spot Treatment. And it's supposed to help with like dark spots and stuff like that. It's having a hard time focusing on that. But yeah, so I picked up that. And then I also picked up this little mini of the Urban Decay All Nighter Face Primer. And I'm curious to see what I think about this. And then as like a free gift, because I spent X amount of money, they gave me this Tula Skincare Brightening Treatment Drops little mini. So that's what I got at Ulta. I also went to Michael's to pick up some more things for my classroom. And then I went to Target where I needed to get some various things. Now, what I'm going to do for the next few minutes or so, I am going to plug in my laminator so I can laminate those name tags. And I am going to update my little reading journal because I have read some books. So I need to go ahead and check those off. And I'm going to set up my planner for the next week. Yeah, I think that's what we'll do. And then we will get to reading on Brazen. Again, I'm not planning on reading that whole thing. It's a few different biographies, so maybe I'll read like two of them today. But we'll see. Also, I got this very cute mug from Target. So it has a bunch of different cats and then inside it says cat person. Now I'm technically a hamster person, but they don't make mugs like that. <laughs> so I picked this one up. If I'm gonna choose between cats and dogs, it's gonna be a cat. Um, oh, the other thing I did is I decorated my little fur baby's cage a little bit. So I'll show you what that looks like in just a moment. And I also installed a pet camera. <laughs> so that I can kind of keep my eye on him during the day just to make sure he is getting up throughout the day and eating and things like that. He is very, very tiny. He's meant to be tiny. He's a Roborowski, but he's very small. So I think he's quite young. So I want to make sure he's getting enough to eat. And I just want to keep track of how often he gets up during the day, if that makes sense. So yeah, let's go ahead and do everything I just said I was going to do. I will take you along and then we're just gonna chill out the rest of the day. It is 2.42, so I figure I can get all of this done probably in about 30 minutes. 
And then we're just going to hang out and have a chill rest of Sunday. Last week was a really hard week at work. So I definitely want to just take some time to chill out and not do anything. So let's go ahead and take care of my to-do list so I can get to that relaxing. Okay, so here's what I did. I strung these lights along the top here. He really does not like this overhead light on, so I thought I could just string those along so when he's awake, I can just turn those on instead. This is the little sign that I picked up because he is very spoiled. And then I did add a couple things. So I added this uh, driftwood branch right here and I added this bendy bridge right here because he wasn't really loving like that open space right there. So I thought that that might help a little bit. He was very active last night. You can see this stuff all over the place. So I'll need to clean that up later, but yep, that's what we are looking like. And he seems like a very happy boy, which is all I can ask for.